Hi everyone, Will again here, and what we're going to be doing today is looking whether or not we can actually make money from sheep in the UK, and specifically today we're going to be looking at lambs. So what we're going to look at is how much we get for our lambs, and how much it costs for me, the farmer, to produce them. So if you enjoy it today guys, please give it a massive like, if you want to see more stuff like this, please smash that subscribe button, and don't forget, videos every Wednesday and Saturday at half seven. Hope you enjoy guys, cheers! So to begin with, what I'm going to do is give you a quick overview of the flock at home. So at home we have a pedigree flock of clins, so this means we produce lambs for the fat trade, so this is um, stuff that we eat, as well as producing new lambs which are sold for breeding. So these are quite different markets and they make a bit of a difference with the end price. So to begin with, um, our average fat lamb price this year was £105, which is amazing really, that's up poor. 13, 14 pound from last year. So on a usual year, you'd be averaging between 90 and 95 pounds. But this year, there's just been a very good price. And we've got a new deal with our local butchers. So we're getting a bit of a premium price, whereas other years we haven't. So that's a great bonus. And after that, our ewe lambs have averaged 116 pound 50 this year. So that's a great um, thing for us too, because we haven't sold ewe lambs at sales before. And this year we sold um, two lots at sales, so these were down at Ross and Y. Stronger lamb there for you now, stronger lamb there. I were looking at was five, eight, what you weigh, 30, 130, 130 being 30 gold, 130, two, one, three, two, at 132, waiting to go to finish, at 132. Pen that averaged 132 pound a head and a pen that averaged 122 pound a head. There's cost to go off that, but so yeah, that was a quick look back at what the ewe lambs did at Ross and Y this year. It was really good because they got the joint second highest price of the day, and for me that meant so much because I've put five years hard work into this now. It just shows that it's paying off and I'm doing something right. We're not there yet, obviously, everyone learns and they've got to carry on learning, but we're going in the right direction, so that's good. But now what we're going to get down to is the costs and I've split these into little sections so you guys can understand how we're spending money to produce the lambs. So the sections I've split these down into, so we've got a section on lambing costs, a section on vet and meds, so this is for vets and medicines, um, a section on wormers and flukes, then a section on spot-ons and shearing, so spot-ons are like crovect and click which you Spray on the sheep to stop um, fly strike. Then additional feed, so it's like creep feed and lick buckets. And that'll give us a sum to say how much we're spending on the sheep this year. And on top of that, we look at how much it costs for grazing through the year. So what we'll do now is look at each section individually and what they cost us. So now we're gonna get into the first section and this is the most expensive section of what it costs to produce the lamb. So this section is basically based on lambing. So this includes bedding up, so straw, haylage, so this is feed, nuts, which is extra feed, and then we've got mineral buckets to make sure that they've got the right nutritional um, balance in the diet, and all those mixed together, make sure that the ewes are producing the best lambs possible. And on top of that, we've got tags, so we point EID tag and a normal tag in each lamb. And finally, the most expensive cost of all, which is a labour, which is £12.50 a lamb, if you believe it or not. And all these add up to £27.91. So if you think about the cost um, at the start, that's almost a quarter of the cost of what it is to produce the final lamb. Just goes on lambing costs. But obviously, one thing I want to reiterate about this, the labour cost stays basically the same if we had more use. So as the flock of use increases in size, the cost per lamb to produce actually drops. So this is something I'm going to look at into the future. Obviously, say we um, lamb 300, where now we're lambing um, 160 ewes, it's almost going to halve. Obviously, there's a bit extra on labour, but not a lot. So that's something to look at going into the future. Well, I also want to say, guys, um, looking further into the price in the videos, 
these are prices for our farm at home and every farm does it differently so just because I have these costs for me it might mean that Dave down the road he has completely different costs because a different system because people obviously lamb outside they don't have the bedding costs and people that are a lot more commercial might um, have different lambing rates and stuff like that so yeah now we'll get on to the second point which is vet and med costs so this is looking at what it costs for say the vet to come out through the years so, so we have a prolapse or we have a bad lambing or there's a problem with a tup it's hurt itself so these are the costs for that kind of thing as well as vaccines in general veterinary stuff that we use throughout the year so the biggest cost in this is the vet bills so this works out as £6.25 per lamb so I haven't said yet but how I'm working these costs out so say the vet cost is the ewe so on average by the end of the year a ewe will produce about one and a half lambs so we've divided the cost of the ewe by one and a half to get the final thing so after that we've got the heptavac cost so if this is for clostridial diseases this is a vaccine so that's three doses so there's one dose for the ewe and two for the lambs and obviously the ewe's dose is divided by one and a half so that's how i've got it then we've got enzovac and toxivac which they're for abortion vaccines and we've got foot vax which are against foot rot so they're all the vaccine costs and they total £10.90 throughout the year so that's a big chunk of money which goes towards keeping them right so we don't want the sheep to get diseases so I'm a big one for prevention rather than cure because it costs a lot less to prevent something than cure it after it happens and it keeps a healthy flock so that's the next section and the one after that we're going to look into is which is wormers and flukes so wormers and flukes are one of the smaller and cost to the lambs but i think it's also one of the most important because if you obviously have worm burdens in the flock it costs you in production so you're putting more money into feed but you're not getting anything out of it so we use a mixture of four wormers through the year and we use a group four wormer that is quite expensive in the autumn to try and wipe all the worms out but on average these are going to cost two pound and seven pence per lamb through the year there's not really much i'm going to talk about that because it's fairly simple it's just keeping the using lambs worm throughout the year and making sure they're right so this next one is going to be a little bit controversial because obviously everyone has their own beliefs on this but this is what i do at the farm so the cost for Crovec to click and shearing. The way my hands feel on your body, they were dancing in the dark. Every... Because obviously, shearing costs are you, but this has to be run around into the lambs. So, the shearing costs approximately £1 a lamb. The click on average is £1.90 a lamb, then Crovec's £2. So, this all together gets to £4.99, so call it a fiver. And that's just making sure that we have no fly problems throughout the year. But yeah, a lot of you will be saying right now, oh, you get money for um, the fleece off the sheep. Well, it's hardly worth anything and it's included in the price at the start, but it's hardly anything. It's literally pence per kilo. And we're talking very little pence rather than the highest. So really, it's not anything at the end of the game. And when I say it's controversial, because obviously people have different opinions when you should share in the year. So for me, I crovect all the ewes before shearing and they get shorn and I crovect them again. And with the lambs, they get clicked at the start and then they get crovected to cover them at the end. And some people dip, so this covers for four weeks and it also stops scab and stuff like that. Touch wood, I've never had scab and I never want to have it. But yeah, that's why it can be a bit different for different people. And now we're gonna move on to the next section which is actually additional feeds. So additional feeds, this is stuff like lip buckets and creep feed that we use for the lambs throughout the year. So moving on to this section now, this one totals £16.67, actually has the most expensive individual items. So for creep feed this year, we need to have a real look at this because we're spending £15 a lamb, which is only what, 10 20% of the final cost, but if we can get this down and get them finished better off grass, so in our things we only finish tups and we get them to try and get them gone as quick as possible because the butcher likes them at that time of year. But yeah, if we can get this price down, it'll really help our final costs 
and the £1.67 that's just a lick bucket throughout the year so these are a must do and we've just swapped on to a company called Northern Nutrition which I can't um, praise enough really because they're not the cheapest and they're not the most expensive but I believe they're a top quality product for the price their price points mid mid slightly above the mid range but they're not cheap rubbish and they do the job so can't praise them enough and the final one I'm going to look on to is the labour for myself so this actually averages £16.67 for the year so obviously like the labour of lambing the more we get this could almost half so now to round it off we're going to look at the price it actually costs to produce the lamb and the total of this is all the sections added together so just to recap we're going to look at the price of lambing, vet and bed, wormers and flukes, spot on shearing, additional feed and my wages and these come to a total of £79.21 but on top of that which isn't included it's just a funny way of doing it with livestock we have the variable costs of grazing so this is the cost it actually costs to graze the land through the year so what we work this out as use is 13 pence a head and lambs is 8 pence a head so equates all together per lamb for grazing for the year is £8.66 so obviously we own a lot of the land and we rent some and the costs are also split between the production of the haylage at home and the grazing so these are the prices that we equate it to because you've got to put something towards it. It's not free, we've bought the land, so there's depreciation costs and capital repayments and stuff like that. So that's the cost I've put for that. So that means that the total cost it's cost us to produce a single lamb during 2020 was £87.87. .87. Well, this is the variable cost, and obviously there's other things that we need to look at, but so that means roughly this year looking at a profit on producing the lambs but other things we need to look at after this is things called capital repayments so when we produce uh, sorry so when we pay for the livestock trailer we don't just take that out of a chunk in a year you have to look at depreciation and things like that so as we just started the enterprise this is a really good start for us and that's a brief look at the costs it costs us to produce the lambs <music> So we're now going to move on to the summary of the video and that is basically answering the question from the start and that is whether sheep can make money. Well in this terms we've been talking about lambs and yes lambs can make money if you do it right. So this year we've spent 87-ish pounds a head which is quite a lot and I think this can be cut down by 15-20 pounds which leaves us a much bigger margin of profit. But in general sheep farmers do make money, some don't. It completely depends on the year too because some years the price is really high like this year's and other years it can be on the bottom. So this is to do with supply and demand. But yeah, to answer the question at the start, you can make money from sheep and there's so many ways of going about it and so many different methods. So yeah, thank you guys. We're now going to move on. So I'd also like to say a massive thank you for Roxanne as they've kept me going for this video. I've got a coffee because I keep drying off. And their really new mug is really good. Sorry, the really new mug. My new mug from them is really good and keeps me going. And on top of that, I've got new hats in stock. So we've got this grey hat here. I've got also these in burgundy, bottle green, another grey, black and fuchsia, so pink. And if you want these, these are only £10 each. So get your hands on while I've got them. We've got about 60 in stock, so get up before they're gone and yeah cheers for watching today guys i really hope you enjoyed it it's sort of a bit different um i've made this video just in case we haven't started lambing yet if not you'll probably get some time mid lambing but yeah if you did enjoy it today guys please give it a massive like and if you're new to the channel don't forget smash that subscribe button ring the little bell and don't forget videos every wednesday and saturday at half seven see you soon guys cheers